Lesson 8 Homework Number 1. Write the decomposition that helps you, and then round to the given place value. Draw number lines to explain your thinking. Circle the rounded value on each number line. 43 and 586,000th to the nearest tenth, hundredth, and one. So let's start with the tenth. I'll go ahead and label it. So for tenths, let's draw our number line because it said we need to. And if we have 43 and 586 thousandths, the 5 is in the tenths place. I'm going to start with 43 and 5 tenths, 43 and 4 tenths, 43 and 6 tenths. Now where is this going to lie? So in the hundredths place, we have an 8. So it's 58 hundredths. I'm going to add zeros to make it easy to see where to put the 58. Well, 58 would be up here close to... 60. So we would have 43 and 58 hundredths. So we're going to round up and round to the nearest tenth. Remember it needs to end in the tenths place. 43 and 6 tenths. Okay, hundredths. Draw my number line. Okay. So we have in the tenth hundredths place an eight, so forty-three and fifty-eight hundredths. Forty-three and fifty-seven hundredths, and forty-three and fifty-nine hundredths. Okay, I'm gonna add a zero. Ooh. I'm going to add a zero so that we compare the thousands place and see where 586 is going to fall. 586 would be, here's 585 right about there, so 586 would be slightly above it. So 43 and 586 thousandths right there, which would round up. So rounded to the nearest hundredth would be 43 and 59 hundredths. And then the ones place. Three, forty-two, forty-four. Where is forty-three and five tenths going to fall? So five tenths, forty-three and five tenths. That's about like forty-three and a half. So that's going to be right in the middle. And remember, we said anything if it's five or higher, we round up. So we're going to round up to forty. Number part B, round. This one we have to round to four different places. So let's start with the tenths place. So we have in the tenths place an eight, so four two hundred forty three and eight tenths, 243 and seven tenths, 243 and nine tenths. I'm gonna add a zero to make it easier to compare the 87. So where would 87 fall between these place values? Well, it's gonna be right up here, 243 and 87 hundredths, so we can tack the 5 on the end of there, so it's going to round up to 243 and 9 tenths. Alright, let's do the hundredths. In the hundredths place is a 7, so 243 and 87 hundredths, 243 and 86 hundredths and 243 and 88 hundredths. Okay, I'll add my zeros at the end again just to make it easier to compare 875. So 875 would fall right in the middle of 870 and 808. And remember, five or higher, we round up. So it would be 
243 and 88 hundredths. All right, nearest 10. So the tens place is this four. So we're going to start with 240, 250, and 230. So we have 243. Where is 243 going to fall? 243 would be about right there, maybe. And 875 thousandths. So we would round down to 200. And lastly, the hundreds place. So we have 200 in the hundreds place. 200, 100, 300, 243. 250 would be about right there. 243 is slightly below it. So we are going to round down. So round to the nearest hundred would be 200. Okay. Number two. A trip from New York City to Seattle is 2,852 and one-tenths miles. A family wants to make the drive in 10 days, driving the same number of miles each day. About how many miles will they drive each day? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a mile. Okay, so this is going back again to one of the previous lessons where we were learning how to multiply and divide by powers of 10. So what we first need to do is figure out how many miles they're going to drive in each day for 10 days, the same exact amount. So what we need to do is split this equally in 10 different ways, or we need to do divide it by 10. So we have 2,852 and 110 divided by remember what we were doing before when we would break out our place value chart and shift the digits and everything we're gonna simplify that a little bit so when we're dividing the digits are shifting to the right the decimal point is moving to the left we're dividing by 10 which means we're only moving one place so everything is gonna shift over one spot decimal point stays in the same place so they're going to drive 285 and 21 hundredths miles every day now it wants us to round that to the nearest tenth of a mile so in the tenths place we have a 2 285 and 2 tenths 285 and 1 tenth and 285 and 3 tenths. Add my zeros so that I can see where 21 would fall. So 21 is going to be right here above 20. So we have 285 and 21 hundredths, which means it's going to round down. So it rounds to 285 and 2 tenths. A decimal number has two digits to the right of its decimal point. If we round to the nearest tenth, the result is 18 and 6 tenths. What is the maximum possible value of this number? Use words and the number line to explain your reasoning. Include the midpoint on your number line. So what this is saying is we have a number that has rounded to 18 and 6 tenths. And it has two digits to the right of the decimal point, meaning that it's 18 point something something. It ends in the hundredths place. So what could be the largest number we could have that would round to 18 and 6 tenths? So let's use our number line. Um, since it goes to the hundredths place and the number that we're rounding is in the hundredths place, I'm going to add a zero to these and make them into the hundredths place so that we have 18 and 60 hundredths and 18 and 70 hundredths. Now right in between the midpoint, right in between 18 and 60 hundredths and 18 and 70 hundredths, we would have 18 
and 65 hundredths because 65 is right in the middle of 60 and 70. We need to now decide what would be the largest number that would round down to 18 and 6 tenths here. So 18 and 65 hundredths, remember if it ends in a 5, we round up. So what would be right below that? What would be the number that's right below 18 and 65 hundredths? Well, that would be 18 and 64 hundredths. So 18 and 64 hundredths is the largest number with two digits after the decimal point that would round to 18 and 6 tenths. Okay, the next one, what's the minimal possible, minimum possible value of this decimal? So remember, it said use words, pictures, or numbers to explain your reasoning. So make sure you're showing your work using your place value chart or writing out our explanations somehow to make sure that you're explaining your reason. So the minimum possible value, again, I'm going to start by making these 18 and 60 hundredths and 18 and 50 hundredths our midpoint. So what's in between 50 and 60? We would have 18 and 50 five hundredths. Now we want to find the minimum possible number that would round to 18 and 60 hundredths. So if we have 18 and 51 hundredths, that's going to round down. If we have 18 and 52 hundredths, that would round down. 53 hundredths would round down. 54 hundredths would round down. What about 55 hundredths? So like we said before, five or higher would round up. So the minimum possible number would be 18 and 55 hundredths because that's the smallest number we could get that would round up to 18 and 6 tenths because 18 and 54 hundredths would round down to 18 and 5 tenths.